Now to LSU basketball star, star Angel Reese and Iowa standout Caitlin Clark, both calling out the double standard for women after Reese was criticized for what some called taunting Clark during the women's NCAA final. Janae Norman is here with a story that so many are talking about. Good morning, Janae. Good morning, Deb. It has absolutely been a talker. This was a wild game, a crazy fourth quarter, and the most viewed NCAA women's basketball final in TV history. But we're talking about this, the You Can't See Me move, attributed to John Cena, actually started by G-Unit rapper Tony Yayo, meant to mean basically you're not on my level, and the fierce debate over who can do it and when. This morning, two fierce competitors calling out the double standard in sportsmanship. I don't think Angel should be criticized at all. Men have always had trash talk. Um, you know, that's what it's been. Why are we going back and forth as women mm. if we're supposed to be growing the game together? I feel like we've went into a space where it's black women against white women. LSU has captured its very first national championship. Just days after their schools went head to head in the most watched women's college basketball game ever. Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark weighing in on this heavily debated split screen at the center of the controversy. Clark doing the so-called you can't see me move when Iowa beat Louisville, punching their card to the final four. The Iowa standout was celebrated for the move, even called the queen of clapbacks. Reese doing the exact same move towards Clark in the national championship game. And Angel Reese knows a ring is coming. But only Reese was heavily criticized, called everything from classless to worse, sparking heated conversations this week. When Caitlin did it, people were celebrating it. But then the second a sister stepped up and threw it back in her face, now you got half the basketball world saying, well, you know what, that's not that's not the classiest thing to do. When Caitlin Clark did this, uh, John Cena, it was considered swag. 48 hours later, Angel Reese does the exact same gesture, is classless. Both women chalking it up to trash talk. I'm just one that competes and she competed, so um, I think everybody knew there was going to be a little trash talk in the entire tournament. It's not just me and Angel. Reese notching the most double doubles in a single season in women's college basketball history, doubling down after Sunday's win. All year, I was critiqued about who I was. I'm too hood, I'm too ghetto, but when other people do it, y'all don't say nothing. So this was for the girls that look like me, that gonna, that's gonna speak up on what they, they believe in. It's unapologetic to you. So a little history lesson on teams going to the White House, a tradition dating back to 1865. Andrew Jackson invited two amateur baseball clubs. It was 1869 when President Grant invited the Cincinnati Red Sox, Red Stockings, the first pro club. And it was Ronald Reagan who made honoring champs at the White House a regular thing. They say winners go to the White House, losers go home. But Dr. Jill Biden saying both teams should be invited before walking that back amid backlash. Caitlin Clark saying runner ups don't usually go to the White House. Angel Reese saying if roles were reversed, I know we wouldn't be invited. The First Lady's office saying her comments were intended to applaud the historic game and all women athletes. But guys, these two women Ooh. athletes calling out the double standard. Yeah, wow. yeah and, and so both ways, and both ways. And Dr. Jill Biden was at the game. Yes. And she was really caught up with that. And it, but uh, it was really funny because women who saw that from her were like, oh, that's sweet. Men were like, what? What, what, what participation <laughs> trophies are given out? Um, so much to unpack. A big debate. Yeah. 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 But thanks for all of that. Appreciate yes. it, Janae, as always. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.